America debuts world's fastest supercomputer. Yet again, another reason why the U.S. is the greatest destination in the history of all histories. The U.S. has unveiled its latest supercomputer, which is twice as powerful as the world's current leader. According to the BBC, the Summit supercomputer can process 200,000 trillion calculations per second, or 200 petaflops. China's Sunway Taihu Light supercomputer had been the most powerful machine with 93 petaflops of processing power. Supercomputers are usually large, expensive systems that house tens of thousands of processors tasked with carrying out specialized calculation-intensive problems. According to the BBC, Summit will be used first in the areas of astrophysics, cancer research, and systems biology. Summit has 4,608 compute servers and has more than 10 petabytes of memory. According to TechSpot, the supercomputer is housed in a 5,600-square-foot space, roughly the size of two tennis courts, and weighs nearly as much as a commercial airplane. According to the BBC, the U.S. now has 143 of the world's top 500 supercomputers, while China has 202. Don't go anywhere. Solar window blinds can block and harvest sunlight. A California startup has designed window blinds with solar panels that can block out sunlight while harvesting solar energy from it. Each slat in solar window blinds is equipped with monocrystalline solar panels, which can harvest solar energy. The blinds can also track the path of the sun's position and automatically change the angle of the slats to optimize its absorption of sunlight. The company claims the blinds are able to generate up to 100 watt-hours of energy for every square meter when mounted on the outside of a window, or half that amount when mounted inside. Although the slats can automatically change their angles, the blinds can also be manually controlled via an app. The company is hoping to raise $50,000 from Kickstarter in order to mass-produce the solar window blinds. This South African airport is powered by the sun. South Africa gets a lot of sun, so much so that the country is investing in solar-powered airports and already has one that's fully operational. George Airport in southern South Africa last year became powered entirely by solar energy. According to AFP, this move lowered its carbon dioxide emissions by more than a thousand tons. The hub runs on energy garnered by some 2,000 solar panels. These power everything from the ATMs and restaurants to the check-in desk and airport control tower. Excess energy is transferred to nearby homes on a local power grid. South Africa is already working on two other solar-powered airports elsewhere in the country. The airport is Africa's first to run on solar energy alone and one of only two in the world. This solar panel runs on bacteria power. Researchers at Binghamton University have come up with an interesting way to harness energy using a resource we have far too much of, bacteria. To harness power from bacteria, scientists arrange nine biosolar cells in a 3x3 pattern to form a scalable and stackable panel. The cells use cyanobacteria, which can be found in aquatic and terrestrial habitats, as a source of clean and sustainable energy. In the daytime, oxygen and electrons are released through photosynthetic reactions. At night, electrons are produced from the bacteria's respiratory activities. 5.59 microwatts were generated in 12-hour day-to-night cycles over a total of 60 hours. Solar panels produce about 200 watts in a 6x10 configuration. The biosolar cells in the same pattern will only generate 3.726, 100 thousandth watts. Though not the most efficient, the technology has the potential to be a more reliable energy source. Once the panel is functional, it could power small wireless systems in remote areas where frequent battery changes are impractical. The Binghamton team's work has been published in the journal Sensors and Actuators B Chemical. Solar Roadway Installation Unveiled in Idaho a startup company that has developed solar-powered road panels has recently finished its first public installation in the city of Sandpoint, Idaho. The solar road panels contain LED lights and are made of tempered glass strong enough to support the weight of semi-trailers. The panels are equipped with microprocessors, which allow them to communicate with each other, a control station, and vehicles. The first public installation in Sandpoint uses just 30 panels, which people would walk or ride bikes over. The installation can power a nearby restroom and a fountain. 
It is equipped with heating elements so it can still operate in the winter. In the future, the solar panels could be used to build highways. Its LED lights can create bright lines and signage without the use of paint. The bright LED lines could also improve nighttime driving conditions. It is reported that the Missouri Department of Transportation intends to install 20 by 12 foot panels to cover sidewalks at rest areas off Route 66 in a trial phase. How to put on a 13 ton stone hat. That's a nice looking hat. Where'd you get that? Researchers say they figured out how Easter Islanders transported 13 ton stone hats across the island and placed them on top of 33 feet tall Moai statues. The study, published in the Journal of Archaeological Science, examined how ancient islanders were able to move the additional red stone cylinders, pukau, on tops of the statues. According to NPR, Easter Island has almost 1,000 Moai statues spread across the island, with around 100 of them wearing the pukau hats. After constructing 3D models of the stone cylinders, scientists closely analyzed the details and features of each pukau. They developed a hypothesis that the hats were rolled up to the top of the statues using long ramps with a technique known as par buckling. Using the 3D models, the team was able to calculate how long the ramp would have to be, in addition to how many workers would be required to pull the pukau into place. With a ramp 75 to 328 feet long, with an incline of 5 to 20 degrees, a team of 15 people could maneuver a pukau into position. Dubai Greenlight's world's largest solar power plant. The world's largest concentrated solar power plant is about to get even more juice. The Dubai government has given the green light to a 700 megawatt addition to the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum solar park. It currently has 2.3 million photovoltaic solar panels with a 200 megawatt capacity. Capacity is expected to grow to 5,000 megawatts by 2030. Developers say the park will eventually cover 214 square kilometers with a 260 meter solar tower taking center stage. The solar plant produces power by using lenses and reflectors to concentrate sunlight in order to heat fluids, which then in turn produce steam to drive a turbine. The advantage of this type of solar system is that it's more flexible because energy can be stored as heat and used as needed. A drawback is that they are more expensive than photovoltaic solar plants, 